you see some very interesting books and their covers are mm -mm, not good but <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Rummies? Welcome back to my channel. I am Rummy, novelist and fiction writing teacher, and today I'm going to be telling you why you need a writer's notebook. If you are new on this channel, don't forget to like and share this video, and don't forget to smash the subscribe button down below. And if you're a returning subscriber, don't forget to like and share this video, and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. So, as a writer, have you ever got stuck writing an article or a short story or your book, and you just wished there was like an enchanting box of you know fresh ideas or something like you just wish for a helping hand in that case what if i told you there was an actual enchantment box or box of ideas somewhere this is what i call a notebook or a writer's notebook it literally has so many interesting ideas that will give you a helping hand when you're stuck now what do i mean a notebook also called a writer's notebook is a book you use to collect facts fictions, observation from your everyday life, quotes, to-do lists, goals, and things you just find fascinating or things you imagine in your everyday life. Personally, I think every writer needs to have a writer's notebook because like the best things in sliced bread. I love all kinds of notebooks from hard covers to spiral notebooks or you know this, this soft type or you could just use your phone, you know, the note app. I love to keep all types of notebooks, the pretty ones, for future use, or at least that's what I tell myself. So you could consider using a hardcover. You could just get a normal notebook that's handy. You could use your phone or your tablet, or just something that you could carry about. So there are several options there. You just choose whatever you like. If you're wondering what goes into your writer's notebook, so the first one is character sketches, which is this like details about your characters that you can get when you observe in your everyday life. These are facts about your characters, the way they appear. You get inspiration from everywhere. Once you get this inspiration, the best thing to do is write it down. So you see someone on the bus or in school or the cafeteria or something that you like and you're just like, this will fit a character in my book or in my story. I will tell you to write it down. That's where your notebook comes in. So character sketch is basically details about your character from their appearance, the way they smell, their mannerism, the way they speak, their perfume, or just anything. When you put down all these little, little details, you must not even have an outlined character sketch. Just different little, little fragments of details about your characters. This will form a solid sketch for your character in the future that you can use in your story or in your book writing process. Another thing that could go into your writer's notebook are quotes. I would like to say quotes are beautiful words from a writer or from your own imagination and quotes are very inspiring. You could just see a quote that inspires you. It might not even be about writing, about something else in your life and you just write it down. You never can tell on the day when you need inspiration you read that quote, you feel very inspired. Quotes are very powerful if you ask me. So if you, if you see a quote you like so much, please write it down in your notebook. Another thing that could go into your writer's notebook is a list. Lists are very helpful in your writing, in your everyday life, your house chores and stuff you just do, your to-do list. I personally like to keep a list just to stay organized in my daily activities and in my writing process. So a list is something you should consider doing. It actually helps you stay very organized and helps you plan very well. Next one is compliments, kudos or nice words. You might be a little bit surprised like why should you write compliments down so you get a high five from your boss your boss that never smiles at work and you're like oh may just be my lucky day right who knows when you get that compliment again <laughs> i'm just saying you should write it down it may come in handy on a day you feel down you could get a compliment from your spouse from your child i'm not saying you write every single compliment or every nice word someone tells you if someone tells you something nice and inspires you or it uplifts you it just makes you feel very good about yourself and it's catchy you know, you should the next write one is goals. If your goals are like a map or like a direction. If you do not write a goal down, I don't think it's a goal because your head is not a storage box or so it's not a it's not a map. <laughs> it's not a warehouse. So those short and long term goals that don't seem to achieve themselves. You know that thing I've been thinking about. If you had written it down, I think you'd have taken the first step in like making an effort to achieve it. When you have goals, write it down in your writer's notebook. Let me just put this out there. A writer's notebook is not only for writers. Maybe you just call your own a notebook since you're not a writer. But it really doesn't matter. 
So the next thing is life lessons and thoughts. Life throws different things at us from different angles. If you learn something new today, like something memorable, something like you want to remember in the next six or nine months down the line, something that's important, you should write it down. And then your thoughts, your thoughts matter a lot. It's just like keeping a diary, but you're not writing every single thought you have. Thoughts that just keep you thinking, just very important thoughts. You should put them down in your record notebook. book. Another good one is poems. I think poems are very beautiful words, like people express their thoughts and emotions in very beautiful words and they call it poems. If you love poems or you just someone's poem that fascinates you, I think you should write it down in your notebook because those words are like, oh my god. The next one is short story ideas and prompts. This is a huge one for me. Like if I had a writer's notebook from when I was probably 15 years old, I would have had like a ton of short story ideas to like right on right now but because i didn't start using a writer's notebook from earlier on i've lost a lot of ideas so don't forget to write your short story ideas open book ideas big book ideas come when you're cooking write it down sweetie story except some pieces so this one is something i haven't always done because i'll feel like it's not really important but it is so story except are little fragments that you could connect the dots in your story later so what do i mean just tiny pieces that doesn't make sense but it's beautiful in your head but you're wondering like how would this fit into my story or how will it fit into my book sweetheart please write it down you will connect the dots later and create your masterpiece it's useful writing resources and tools as writers we all love an extra hand from technology wouldn't you just like to have ease with some stuff like your grammar spelling your research and all those writing processes you love so when much. you want to use those tools you know like go online you search for several tools and then you just get overwhelmed you now start reading 10,000 articles about the best tool what I love to do is when I use a tool I take note I write about tools in my notebook very well sometime last year I was in one tool and then I was like oh my gosh I love how the tool worked and I said this in my notebook months later I had the need for that project I went to my my class notebook and I saw this tool and I was like you know life saving it reduced the stress of me looking for the perfect tool or the tool that I would like to use for a particular thing you don't necessarily need to just sit down and start writing to see on when you come across a tool you like you should write it down I do that a lot and it's really 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 helped me it has really stressed from a lot of things I like to call it my toolbox so the next one is your book cover or graphic inspirations. I wonder why why is this important? But sometimes you get these wonderful ideas about your book cover. Even most before you move start writing your book. You should write it down. You should just, or maybe just sketch it. You might not be a badass drawer. That is a drawer. You might not be a badass artist. Maybe you cannot just send draw. what's in your head to the paper. So you have heard the saying that don't draw the book by its cover. Personally I think I will draw the book by its cover because you see some very interesting books and their covers are mm -mm. Not good, but <laughs> <laughs> so I think whenever you go inspired for a book cover, you should definitely write it down because those kind of impressions don't come. From. It's a huge selling point for your book. They sell your story before it's even bought. Just imagine the power of a book cover. Excuse me. So if you get the idea for a book cover, please put it down in ink. I've told you what you could put in your writer's notebook. If you have other ideas, you can tell me in the comment section. So now I'm going to be telling you the usefulness of a writer's notebook. The first thing is keeping track of useful details. I think that when you go about your daily life and you get inspiration along the line, your writer's notebook will help you to track useful details. Because if you did not have a writer's notebook, if you were not in the habit of note keeping in your writer's notebook, you won't be able to track those useful details. They come and go. You see this, I like this, it makes sense in my book, but you didn't write it. so. They're not That's sitting gone. down waiting you for you to use them like mm -mm. that is how your writer's notebook comes into use. So it helps you keep track of useful details. Write about unusual, interesting details that strike you around people. It could help for your character sketches, it could help for different stuff for your story. All these useful details you have put down could form the basis of your short story or your book in the future. Are you with me? The next use of a writer's notebook is creating your own space. Every writer should have a writer's notebook. That's your space. That's your testing lab. You know, it helps you to like write about interesting things or fascinating things around you. Like you could see something on the bus that is so funny, and then you write it down. You know, you could like blend it into your story somehow. Like, you're trying to blend real life scenarios into your story. How cool is that? So it helps you create a space for you to test things on. You could have a big notes. That's good, but you should all have a handy one. And then there are some persons that are not very used to technology, so you're not very techy. And then you don't have a notes app on your phone or your tablet. I think you should get a very little handy 
notebook because inspiration will strike you anyway. You can't say I'm going to get home and I'm going to write it. Hello, the items are going to like. So you need to have something handy you could draw on wherever you are. So I advise you always have a mini handbook with you. or just your phone. Like you can never go wrong with your phone. No. <laughs> just download like you know app. Your phone battery could die. Different things could happen, and you never know when. Sticky notes. Sticky notes can't go wrong, sweethearts. I love sticky notes. So you should have like a mini sticky notes. This is a trick. Many people don't know it. <laughs> so get a sticky note. Like sticky notes are everywhere. You could get it stationary wherever you want. Get a sticky note and put it in your purse or in your bag. Or whatever thing that you carry about when you go. The next use of your notebook is trying out new ideas. Like I said earlier, your notebook should be like a testing ground, like a lab, you know, you just try out new ideas, you could write about mini stories, a bit of dialogue for your characters, character sketches, story prompts, story ideas, all that stuff, beautiful scenarios and stuff, you know, the knowledge that only uses this, you like, you go out all the way to like try different things, you're testing out things and if it doesn't work, you can, you're free to like shoot it back inside your writer's notebook and try it out somewhere else again, you know, no one's going to say it, right, it's just your, it's your writer's I don't think anyone wants to look through your writer's notebook, mm -mm. no, I don't think so, so it's your testing ground, it's your laboratory, in the beginning you may not be used to it, but with time, it's something that's going to become invaluable, it's something that's going to become part of your lifestyle as a writer like <laughs> okay so note keeping is essential it's like extremely important to a writer and the persons may not agree with this but i'm telling you i have been note keeping for a while now i can't remember when i started note keeping but i can tell you that it has really helped like giving me ideas so use your own unique style of note keeping and then test different ideas don't be afraid to test ideas ain't nobody gonna see them Test out different ideas and just do you. And while you're doing it, enjoy it. Like, it shouldn't be a scary place, <laughs> okay? Unless you're writing about demons and stuff. But that's it. Your notebook shouldn't be a scary place. It should be a place that you want to, like, just go to and test stuff out. While at least enjoy it. Enjoy the process. So, just a recap I talked about what you could put in your writer's notebook, which is character sketches, quotes lists, life lessons and thoughts, goals, story excerpts and pieces, sto short story ideas and prompts, book cover and graphic inspirations. I also talked about the usefulness of writer's notebook, which is keeping track of useful details, creating your own space and trying out new ideas. So with all this, I'm very sure you now have an idea on how to use a writer's notebook, why you should definitely start using one like right now. And you can use whatever you want, like I said earlier, you can use whatever you want, just use like what suits you. But don't start tomorrow, start now. Start seeing the world as a writer. If you have more ideas why you need to use a writer's notebook, please tell me in the comment section. Don't forget, you can connect with me on any social media platform. On Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Pinterest. And if you're still here to now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. And smash that subscriber button down below. Bye for now.